When I started my career, I found myself caught in a cycle of paycheck to paycheck living. My dreams of financial stability starts slipping further away. Determined to change my circumstances, I turned to books for guidance. Little did I know, these books would not only illuminate my path but also transform my understanding of money and investing. They became my mentors, guiding me through the complex world of finance, teaching me valuable lessons about wealth creation and financial freedom. Here are the 20 books that changed my life, paving the way for a brighter, more secure future. I am not only going to tell you the names of these books, but also a brief display of what you are going to get, if you are reading these books. Nobody on YouTube is going to give you this much crystal clear information about financial books. I can guarantee that. So just relax yourself and listen closely. So let's begin my friend. Number 20. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham is indeed a classic book on value investing, often hailed as the Bible of Investing. First published in 1949, it has stood the test of time and continues to be relevant to investors of all levels even today. In this comprehensive work, Graham lays out his investment philosophy and principles, which have influenced some of the most successful investors, including Warren Buffett. One of the key concepts Graham introduces in the book is the distinction between investment and speculation. According to Graham, an investment operation is one that can be justified on both qualitative and quantitative grounds, while speculation involves making decisions based solely on expected price movements. He emphasizes the importance of investing with a margin of safety, which involves buying securities at prices significantly below their intrinsic value to minimize the risk of permanent capital loss. Graham also introduces the concept of Mr. Market, a hypothetical investor whose mood swings create opportunities for the intelligent investor. Graham advises investors to take advantage of Mr. Market's irrational behavior by buying when prices are low and selling when they are high. Another important concept Graham discusses is the concept of margin of safety. He advises investors to only purchase a security when its market price is significantly below its intrinsic value, thus providing a margin of safety against errors in estimation or unforeseen events. Graham's approach to investing is grounded in fundamental analysis, which involves analyzing a company's financial statements and business prospects to determine its intrinsic value. He emphasizes the importance of thorough research and a long-term perspective, rather than trying to time the market or speculate on short-term price movements. The Intelligent Investor also covers topics such as portfolio management, asset allocation, and the psychology of investing. Graham provides practical advice on constructing a diversified portfolio and managing risk, highlighting the importance of discipline and patience in achieving long-term investment success. The Intelligent Investor is a timeless guide to investing wisely and avoiding common pitfalls. Graham's principles of value investing have stood the test of time and continue to be relevant to investors seeking to build wealth over the long term. Whether you're a novice investor or a seasoned pro, there's much to be gained from studying Graham's insights and applying them to your own investment strategy. One of the key themes of the book is the importance of adopting a defensive mindset when it comes to investing. Graham argues that investors should approach the market with caution and skepticism, always looking to protect their capital first and foremost. This means focusing on the fundamental value of a security rather than its price movements, and being prepared to hold on to investments for the long term. Central to Graham's philosophy is the concept of value investing, which he defines as buying securities when they are priced below their intrinsic value. By focusing on the underlying value of a company rather than its stock price, Graham believed that investors could reduce their risk and increase their chances of achieving satisfactory returns over time. Graham also introduced the concept of margin of safety, which he described as the difference between the intrinsic value of a security and its market price. By buying securities with a margin of safety, investors could protect themselves against unforeseen events or errors in their analysis, thus reducing the risk of permanent capital loss. 
Another key concept in The Intelligent Investor is the idea of market fluctuations as opportunities rather than threats. Graham famously likened the stock market to a manic depressive individual named Mr. Market, whose moods swing wildly from euphoria to despair. According to Graham, investors should take advantage of Mr. Market's irrational behavior by buying when prices are low and selling when they are high. Graham's principles of value investing have been widely adopted by some of the most successful investors of all time, including Warren Buffett. Buffett, who studied under Graham at Columbia University, credits much of his success to the lessons he learned from The Intelligent Investor and Graham's other works. In addition to his insights on investing, Graham also offers valuable advice on topics such as portfolio management, diversification, and the psychology of investing. He emphasizes the importance of discipline, patience, and a long-term perspective, arguing that these qualities are essential for success in the stock market. Overall, The Intelligent Investor is a timeless masterpiece that offers valuable lessons for investors of all levels. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics of investing or an experienced investor seeking to refine your strategy, Graham's principles offer a solid foundation upon which to build your financial future. Number 19. Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip Fisher. Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip Fisher is another classic book on investing that has left a lasting impact on the world of finance. First published in 1958, Fisher's book presents an insightful and detailed approach to investing in common stocks, focusing on identifying high-quality growth companies for long-term investment. One of the key principles Fisher introduces in the book is the importance of conducting thorough research into a company before investing. He emphasizes the need to understand not just the company's financials, but also its management, competitive position, and growth prospects. Fisher coined the term, scuttlebutt, to describe his approach of gathering information from various sources, including competitors, customers, and suppliers, to gain insights into a company's potential. Fisher also stresses the importance of investing in companies with strong growth prospects. He argues that while it's important to buy stocks at a reasonable price, the most important factor is the company's ability to generate sustainable growth over the long term. Fisher's investment philosophy is based on the belief that investing in such companies can lead to above-average returns over time. One of the most influential ideas in Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits is Fisher's concept of the 15 points. These are a set of criteria that Fisher believed could help investors identify outstanding companies. Some of the key points include a company having a strong research and development effort, a strong sales organization, and a focus on long-term profitability rather than short-term gains. Fisher's approach to investing is often contrasted with that of Benjamin Graham, another legendary investor. While Graham focused on buying stocks that were undervalued based on their current price, Fisher's approach was more focused on buying stocks of companies that had strong growth potential, even if their current price seemed high. Fisher's emphasis on thorough research, long-term thinking, and investing in high-quality growth companies has resonated with generations of investors and continues to be relevant today. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced pro, Fisher's wisdom can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and build a successful investment portfolio over time. Fisher's approach to investing is deeply rooted in fundamental analysis and a long-term perspective. He believed that investors should focus on the qualitative aspects of a company, such as its management team, competitive advantages, and growth potential, rather than just looking at its financial statements. By understanding these qualitative factors, investors can gain a deeper insight into a company's true value and potential for future growth. One of the key concepts Fisher introduces in the book is the idea of the scuttlebutt method, which involves gathering information from a variety of sources to gain a better understanding of a company. Fisher believed that by talking to competitors, customers, suppliers, and other industry participants, investors could uncover valuable insights that were not reflected in a company's financial statements. This approach to research was revolutionary at the time and has since become a standard practice among many successful investors.
Another important concept in common stocks and uncommon profits is Fisher's emphasis on the importance of holding on to high quality stocks for the long term. He believed that trying to time the market or trade stocks based on short term price movements was a losing strategy. Instead, Fisher advocated for a buy and hold approach, where investors would patiently hold on to their investments as long as the company's fundamentals remained strong. Fisher's investment philosophy has had a profound impact on the world of investing and has influenced many successful investors, including Warren Buffett. Buffett has often praised Fisher's approach to investing and has credited him as a major influence on his own investment style. Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip Fisher is a timeless classic that offers valuable insights into the world of investing. Fisher's emphasis on thorough research, long-term thinking, and investing in high-quality growth companies has resonated with generations of investors and continues to be relevant today. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced pro, Fisher's wisdom can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and build a successful investment portfolio over time. Number 18. One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch. One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch is another classic investment book that offers valuable insights into the world of investing. Published in 1989, Lynch's book is based on his experiences as the manager of the Fidelity Magellan Fund, one of the most successful mutual funds in history. In the book, Lynch shares his investment philosophy and offers practical advice for individual investors looking to achieve success in the stock market. One of the key themes of One Up on Wall Street is Lynch's belief that individual investors have a significant advantage over professional investors. Lynch argues that individual investors can use their knowledge of everyday life and their personal experiences to identify investment opportunities that professional investors may overlook. He coined the term, invest in what you know, to describe this approach, emphasizing the importance of investing in companies whose products or services you understand and use. Lynch also emphasizes the importance of doing thorough research before investing in a company. He suggests that investors should look for companies with strong earnings growth, a competitive advantage, and a solid balance sheet. Lynch also recommends paying attention to the company's price earnings ratio, P.E. ratio, and comparing it to the company's historical P.E. ratio and the P.E. ratios of its competitors to determine if the stock is undervalued or overvalued. Another key concept in One Up on Wall Street is Lynch's approach to portfolio management. Lynch advocates for a diversified portfolio of stocks, with a focus on owning a mix of different types of stocks, including growth stocks, cyclical stocks, and value stocks. He also suggests that investors should be patient and willing to hold on to their investments for the long term, rather than trying to time the market or chase short-term gains. One of the most compelling aspects of One Up on Wall Street is Lynch's ability to explain complex investment concepts in a clear and accessible way. He uses a conversational tone and real-life examples to illustrate his points, making the book both informative and engaging for readers. Lynch's emphasis on investing in what you know, doing thorough research, and maintaining a long-term perspective has resonated with generations of investors and continues to be relevant today. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics of investing or an experienced investor seeking to refine your strategy, Lynch's wisdom can help you achieve success in the stock market. One of the key aspects of Peter Lynch's investment philosophy in One Up on Wall Street is his belief in the power of individual investors to beat the market. Lynch argues that individual investors have several advantages over institutional investors, including the ability to invest in small and mid-cap stocks that may be overlooked by large institutional investors. He also believes that individual investors are better able to spot investment opportunities in their everyday lives, such as in the products they use or the companies they are familiar with. Lynch also emphasizes the importance of doing your own research and not relying solely on the advice of experts or analysts. He encourages investors to think for themselves and to trust their own judgment when making investment decisions. Lynch's approach is grounded in the belief that successful investing requires a combination of research, analysis, and intuition, rather than relying solely on quantitative metrics or technical analysis. Another key concept in One Up on Wall Street is Lynch's approach to stock selection. 
Lynch advocates for a bottom-up approach to investing, where investors focus on individual stocks rather than trying to predict the overall direction of the market. He suggests that investors should look for companies with strong earnings growth, a competitive advantage, and a solid business model. Lynch also emphasizes the importance of diversification, recommending that investors own a mix of different types of stocks to reduce risk. Lynch's investment philosophy is based on his own experiences managing the Fidelity Magellan Fund, where he achieved an impressive track record of beating the market. He believes that individual investors can achieve similar success by following his principles of investing in what you know, doing your own research, and maintaining a long-term perspective. One Up on Wall Street by Peter Lynch is a classic investment book that offers valuable insights into the world of investing. Lynch's emphasis on the power of individual investors, the importance of doing your own research, and his practical advice for stock selection has resonated with generations of investors and continues to be relevant today. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced pro, Lynch's wisdom can help you achieve success in the stock market. Number 17. A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton Malkiel. A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton Malkiel is a seminal book that popularized the concept of the random walk hypothesis in investing. First published in 1973 and now in its 12th edition, Malkiel's book is a comprehensive guide to investing that covers a wide range of topics, from basic investment principles to advanced strategies. The central thesis of A Random Walk Down Wall Street is that stock prices follow a random path and are therefore unpredictable in the short term. Malkiel argues that trying to time the market or pick individual stocks is a futile endeavor, as it is nearly impossible to consistently outperform the market over the long term. Malkiel supports his argument with evidence from the efficient market hypothesis, which posits that stock prices reflect all available information and are therefore always accurately priced. According to Malkiel, this makes it difficult for investors to gain an edge by trying to identify undervalued or overvalued stocks. One of the key takeaways from A Random Walk Down Wall Street is the importance of adopting a passive investing approach, such as investing in index funds or exchange-traded funds ETFs, that track the performance of a broad market index. Malkiel argues that these passive strategies offer a number of advantages over active investing, including lower costs, greater diversification, and potentially higher returns over the long term. Despite advocating for a passive investing approach, Malkiel does acknowledge that there may be some opportunities for investors to outperform the market through active management. However, he cautions that these opportunities are rare and that most investors are better off sticking with a passive approach. In addition to discussing the random walk hypothesis and the efficient market hypothesis, a random walk down Wall Street also covers a wide range of other topics, including behavioral finance, technical analysis, and the role of financial advisors. Malkiel's writing is clear and accessible, making complex financial concepts easy to understand for readers of all backgrounds. Malkiel's argument for a passive investing approach and his discussion of the random walk hypothesis have had a profound impact on the investment industry and continue to be influential today. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced pro, a random walk down Wall Street offers valuable lessons that can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and build a successful investment portfolio over time. Another important concept discussed in A Random Walk Down Wall Street is the role of market efficiency in shaping investment strategies. Malkiel argues that because stock prices reflect all available information, it is nearly impossible for investors to consistently outperform the market through stock picking or market timing. This idea is central to the efficient market hypothesis, which suggests that asset prices reflect all available information and are therefore always accurately priced. Malkiel also explores the concept of behavioral finance, which seeks to understand how psychological factors can influence investor behavior and market outcomes. He discusses various cognitive biases that can lead investors to make irrational decisions, such as overconfidence, loss aversion, and hurting behavior. By understanding these biases, investors can become more aware of their own behavior and make more rational investment decisions. In addition to discussing investment strategies, 
Malkiel also offers practical advice on how to build and manage a successful investment portfolio. He emphasizes the importance of diversification, asset allocation, and periodic rebalancing to manage risk and maximize returns over the long term. Malkiel also discusses the role of financial advisors and the importance of finding a trustworthy advisor who can provide unbiased advice. One of the key takeaways from A Random Walk Down Wall Street is the idea that investors should focus on the long term and avoid trying to time the market or chase short-term gains. Malkiel argues that a disciplined, long-term approach to investing is more likely to lead to success than trying to predict short-term market movements. A Random Walk Down Wall Street is a comprehensive and insightful guide to investing that offers valuable lessons for investors of all levels. Malkiel's emphasis on the importance of a passive investing approach, the random walk hypothesis, and the efficient market hypothesis has had a profound impact on the investment industry and continues to shape the way investors think about investing today. Whether you're a beginner looking to learn the basics of investing or an experienced investor seeking to refine your strategy, a random walk down Wall Street offers valuable insights that can help you achieve your investment goals. Number 16. The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle The Little Book of Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle is a classic investment book that outlines the principles of passive investing and advocates for a simple, low-cost approach to investing in the stock market. Bogle, the founder of Vanguard Group and creator of the first index fund, is considered one of the pioneers of passive investing. One of the key themes of The Little Book of Common Sense Investing is the importance of keeping investment costs low. Bogle argues that high fees and expenses can significantly erode investment returns over time, and that investors are better off investing in low-cost index funds that track the performance of a broad market index, such as the S&P 500. He coined the term, cost matters hypothesis, to describe this principle, emphasizing that minimizing costs is a key factor in achieving long-term investment success. Bogle also emphasizes the importance of simplicity in investing. He argues that trying to beat the market through stock picking or market timing is a losing proposition for most investors, and that a simple, buy-and-hold approach to investing in index funds is more likely to lead to success over the long term. Bogle's approach is grounded in the belief that the stock market is efficient and that trying to outsmart the market is a fool's errand. Another important concept in The Little Book of Common Sense Investing is the idea of staying the course and not reacting to short-term market fluctuations. Bogle acknowledges that the stock market can be volatile in the short term, but argues that investors who stay invested for the long term are more likely to achieve positive returns. He advises investors to focus on their long-term goals and to avoid making emotional investment decisions based on short-term market movements. The Little Book of Common Sense Investing offers a simple and straightforward approach to investing that is accessible to investors of all levels. Bogle's emphasis on low-cost, passive investing and his advocacy for a long-term perspective have resonated with many investors and have helped shape the way that people think about investing. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced pro, the Little Book of Common Sense Investing offers valuable insights that can help you achieve your investment goals. One of the central themes in the Little Book of Common Sense Investing is the concept of the relentless rules of humble arithmetic. Bogle uses this term to emphasize the power of compounding returns over time and the impact that even small differences in investment costs can have on long-term returns. He argues that by focusing on minimizing costs and staying invested for the long term, investors can maximize their chances of achieving their financial goals. Bogle also discusses the importance of staying disciplined and avoiding the temptation to chase after hot stocks or market trends. He emphasizes the importance of having a clear investment plan and sticking to it, even when faced with market volatility or uncertainty. Bogle's message is one of patience and perseverance, encouraging investors to focus on the long term and avoid making impulsive investment decisions based on short-term market movements. In addition to his insights on investing, Bogle also offers practical advice on how to build and manage a successful investment portfolio. He discusses the importance of diversification, asset allocation, and periodic rebalancing, 
and provides guidance on how to implement these principles in a simple and effective way. One of the key takeaways from The Little Book of Common Sense Investing is the idea that investing doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. Bogle's approach to investing is based on simplicity, transparency, and low costs, making it accessible to investors of all levels. Whether you're just starting out or are a seasoned investor, Bogle's timeless advice can help you build a solid foundation for your investment portfolio and increase your chances of achieving long-term financial success. The Little Book of Common Sense Investing is a must-read for anyone interested in learning more about passive investing and building a successful investment portfolio. Bogle's insights are timeless and his message is clear, by focusing on low costs, simplicity, and a long-term perspective. Investors can increase their chances of achieving their financial goals and building wealth over time. Number 15. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki is a personal finance classic that challenges conventional beliefs about money and investing. First published in 1997, the book has become one of the best-selling personal finance books of all time, inspiring millions of readers to rethink their approach to wealth building. At the core of Rich Dad Poor Dad is the contrast between Kiyosaki's two father figures, his biological father, who he refers to as Poor Dad, and the father of his best friend, who he calls Rich Dad. Through anecdotes and lessons from his childhood, Kiyosaki contrasts the different financial philosophies of these two men and highlights the importance of financial education and mindset in achieving financial success. One of the key themes of the book is the concept of financial literacy. Kiyosaki argues that traditional education often fails to teach people about money and investing, leading to a lack of financial literacy among the general population. He emphasizes the importance of self-education and taking control of one's financial future by learning about investing, entrepreneurship, and money management. Another important concept in Rich Dad Poor Dad is the idea of assets versus liabilities. Kiyosaki defines assets as things that put money in your pocket, such as rental properties or stocks, while liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket, such as car loans or credit card debt. He argues that in order to build wealth, one must focus on acquiring assets and minimizing liabilities. Kiyosaki also introduces the concept of the cash flow quadrant, which categorizes people into four quadrants based on their primary source of income, employee, self-employed, business owner, and investor. He argues that in order to achieve financial freedom, one must move from the left side of the quadrant, employee and self-employed, to the right side, business owner and investor, where passive income is generated. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a thought-provoking book that challenges readers to rethink their approach to money and investing. Kiyosaki's lessons on financial education, mindset, and asset acquisition have resonated with millions of readers around the world and continue to inspire people to take control of their financial futures. Whether you agree with all of Kiyosaki's ideas or not, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a valuable read that can spark important conversations about money and wealth building. One of the most impactful concepts in Rich Dad Poor Dad is the idea of pay yourself first. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of saving and investing a portion of your income before paying your bills or expenses. This approach prioritizes building wealth and financial security, rather than relying solely on earning a high income. Kiyosaki also challenges the traditional notion of good debt versus bad debt. While many people view all debt as negative, Kiyosaki argues that there is such a thing as good debt if it is used to acquire assets that generate income or appreciate in value. He cautions, however, that taking on too much debt can be risky and advises careful consideration of the risks and rewards before borrowing. Another key takeaway from Rich Dad Poor Dad is the importance of entrepreneurship and investing in creating multiple streams of income. Kiyosaki believes that relying solely on a job for income is limiting and encourages readers to explore opportunities to start their own businesses or invest in income-producing assets. One of the criticisms of Rich Dad Poor Dad is that some of Kiyosaki's advice is overly simplistic or not applicable to everyone's circumstances. For example, 
Not everyone has the means or ability to start their own business or invest in real estate. However, the underlying message of financial education and taking control of one's financial future is still valuable for readers of all backgrounds. Rich Dad Poor Dad is a thought-provoking book that challenges readers to rethink their approach to money and investing. Kiyosaki's lessons on financial education, mindset, and wealth building have inspired millions of readers to take control of their financial futures and strive for financial independence. Whether you agree with all of Kiyosaki's ideas or not, Rich Dad Poor Dad is a valuable read that can motivate you to take action towards achieving your financial goals. Number 14. The Essays of Warren Buffett edited by Lawrence A. Cunningham. The Essays of Warren Buffett edited by Lawrence A. Cunningham is a compilation of Warren Buffett's annual letters to Berkshire Hathaway shareholders, spanning more than four decades. These letters are considered to be one of the most insightful resources for understanding Buffett's investment philosophy, principles, and approach to business and investing. One of the key themes of the essays is Buffett's emphasis on long-term thinking and the importance of investing in companies with strong competitive advantages and durable business models. Buffett famously advises investors to be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful, highlighting his contrarian approach to investing. Buffett also discusses the concept of economic moats, which refers to the competitive advantages that allow a company to maintain its profitability and fend off competitors over the long term. Buffett looks for companies with strong economic moats, such as brand loyalty, cost advantages, or network effects, as these companies are more likely to sustain their competitive position and generate consistent returns for shareholders. Another important concept in the essays is Buffett's approach to risk management. While Buffett acknowledges that all investments carry some level of risk, he emphasizes the importance of understanding the businesses you invest in and investing only in companies with strong fundamentals and competent management teams. Buffett believes that by focusing on the long term and investing in high-quality companies, investors can mitigate the risks associated with investing in the stock market. In addition to discussing investment principles, the essays also offer valuable insights into Buffett's approach to corporate governance and shareholder relations. Buffett is known for his candid and transparent communication with shareholders, and his letters often provide detailed explanations of Berkshire Hathaway's performance, as well as commentary on broader economic and market trends. The Essays of Warren Buffett is a comprehensive and insightful collection of writings that offers valuable lessons for investors of all levels. Whether you're a novice investor looking to learn the basics of investing or an experienced pro seeking to refine your strategy, Buffett's wisdom and insights can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and build a successful investment portfolio over time. One of the recurring themes in Buffett's essays is the importance of value investing. Buffett is a proponent of buying undervalued stocks of high-quality companies and holding them for the long term. He emphasizes the importance of focusing on the underlying value of a company rather than its stock price, and he often uses the analogy of Mr. Market to illustrate how stock prices can be volatile and irrational in the short term. Buffett also discusses his approach to portfolio management, which emphasizes concentration over diversification. Unlike many investors who advocate for diversifying across a wide range of investments, Buffett believes in concentrating his investments in a few high-quality companies that he understands well. He argues that this approach allows him to make more informed investment decisions and capture greater returns over time. Another important concept in Buffett's essays is the idea of having a circle of competence. Buffett advises investors to only invest in businesses that they understand and are capable of evaluating. He argues that staying within one circle of competence can help reduce the risk of making poor investment decisions based on incomplete or inaccurate information. Buffett's essays also offer valuable insights into his approach to corporate governance and management. Buffett is known for his hands-off approach to managing the companies in which Berkshire Hathaway invests, preferring to let competent management teams run the businesses. He emphasizes the importance of investing in companies with honest and competent management teams that have a long-term vision for the company. The Essays of Warren Buffett is a treasure trove of wisdom and insights from one of the greatest investors of all time. 
Whether you're an aspiring investor looking to learn from Buffett's investment principles or a seasoned investor seeking to refine your strategy, Buffett's essays offer valuable lessons that can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and build a successful investment portfolio over time. Number 13. The Warren Buffett Way by Robert G. Hagstrom. The Warren Buffett Way by Robert G. Hagstrom is a comprehensive guide to Warren Buffett's investment philosophy and approach to investing. First published in 1994 and now in its third edition, the book offers valuable insights into Buffett's strategies and principles that have contributed to his success as one of the world's greatest investors. One of the key themes of The Warren Buffett Way is the importance of investing in high-quality companies with strong competitive advantages. Buffett is known for his focus on investing in companies with a moat or a sustainable competitive advantage that allows them to maintain profitability and fend off competitors over the long term. Hagstrom explores Buffett's approach to identifying these companies and discusses how investors can apply similar principles in their own investment decisions. Another important concept in the book is Buffett's emphasis on the importance of value investing. Buffett is a proponent of buying stocks when they are trading below their intrinsic value, and he often uses metrics such as the price-to-earnings ratio and the price-to-book ratio to assess whether a stock is undervalued. Hagstrom discusses Buffett's approach to valuation and provides insights into how investors can use similar techniques to identify undervalued stocks. Hagstrom also explores Buffett's approach to portfolio management, which emphasizes long-term thinking and patience. Buffett is known for his buy-and-hold strategy, where he holds on to investments for extended periods, sometimes decades, allowing them to compound over time. Hagstrom discusses how investors can apply this approach to their own portfolios and the benefits of focusing on the long term rather than trying to time the market. The Warren Buffett Way is a comprehensive and accessible guide to Buffett's investment philosophy and strategies. Whether you're a novice investor looking to learn the basics of investing or an experienced pro seeking to refine your strategy, Hagstrom's book offers valuable insights that can help you navigate the complexities of the stock market and build a successful investment portfolio over time. The Warren Buffett Way by Robert G. Hagstrom delves into the core principles that have guided Warren Buffett's investment decisions and led to his remarkable success. Hagstrom breaks down Buffett's approach into several key principles, providing a framework that investors can apply to their own investment decisions. One of the key principles discussed in the book is Buffett's focus on investing in businesses that he can understand. Buffett has famously avoided investing in technology companies, for example, because he believes he lacks the necessary understanding of their business models to make informed investment decisions. This principle underscores the importance of investing in what you know and understand. Another important principle outlined in the book is Buffett's emphasis on the long-term outlook. Buffett is known for his patient approach to investing, often holding on to stocks for many years or even decades. This long-term perspective allows investments to compound over time, maximizing returns. Buffett's approach stands in contrast to the short-term focus of many investors who try to time the market or chase after quick profits. Buffett's focus on value investing is also a central theme in the book. Buffett looks for companies that are trading at a discount to their intrinsic value, believing that this provides a margin of safety and increases the likelihood of achieving satisfactory returns. This approach requires thorough research and analysis to identify undervalued opportunities in the market. In addition to these principles, the Warren Buffett way also discusses Buffett's approach to risk management, his emphasis on maintaining a strong ethical framework in business dealings, and his views on the role of luck versus skill in investing. The Warren Buffett way offers valuable insights into the mindset and strategies of one of the most successful investors of all time. By understanding Buffett's approach, investors can gain valuable insights that can help them make more informed investment decisions and achieve long-term success in the stock market. Number 12. The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko. The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley and William D. Danko is a groundbreaking book that challenges the stereotypes of what it means to be wealthy in America. Published in 1996, 
the book is based on extensive research into the habits, lifestyles, and financial practices of millionaires in the United States. One of the key findings of the book is that the majority of millionaires in America are not flashy celebrities or high-profile business moguls, but rather ordinary people who have accumulated wealth through hard work, frugality, and smart financial planning. The authors coined the term, prodigious accumulator of wealth, PAW, to describe these individuals, who live below their means, invest wisely, and prioritize financial independence over conspicuous consumption. The Millionaire Next Door also dispels the myth that most millionaires inherit their wealth or earn high salaries. The authors found that the majority of millionaires are self-made, and that many have modest incomes and live in middle-class neighborhoods. The key difference between these millionaires and the general population, according to the authors, is their frugal lifestyle and disciplined approach to saving and investing. One of the central themes of the book is the importance of financial independence and the freedom that comes with having control over one's financial future. The authors argue that by living below their means, avoiding debt, and investing wisely, individuals can achieve financial independence and build wealth over time. The Millionaire Next Door also offers practical advice for readers looking to emulate the habits of millionaires. The authors provide a number of rules of the wealthy, such as living well below your means, avoiding the temptation of conspicuous consumption, and investing in appreciating assets. They also emphasize the importance of financial education and discipline in achieving long-term financial success. The Millionaire Next Door is a thought-provoking book that challenges readers to rethink their attitudes towards wealth and success. By highlighting the habits and practices of self-made millionaires, the authors provide a roadmap for achieving financial independence and building wealth over time. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are already on the path to wealth, The Millionaire Next Door offers valuable insights that can help you achieve your financial goals. Another key theme in The Millionaire Next Door is the importance of financial discipline and avoiding the pitfalls of consumerism. The authors emphasize that many people who appear wealthy are actually living paycheck to paycheck, trapped in a cycle of debt and overspending. In contrast, the millionaires profiled in the book prioritize financial security and are willing to make sacrifices in the short term to achieve long-term financial independence. One of the most compelling aspects of The Millionaire Next Door is the author's focus on the importance of values and character in achieving financial success. They argue that being wealthy is not just about accumulating money, but also about living a fulfilling and meaningful life. The millionaires profiled in the book are portrayed as hardworking, disciplined individuals who value family, education, and community. The book also challenges the notion that wealth is solely a matter of luck or inheritance. While the authors acknowledge that external factors can play a role in financial success, they argue that personal choices and behaviors are the primary determinants of wealth accumulation. By highlighting the habits and practices of self-made millionaires, the authors aim to inspire readers to take control of their financial futures and make the necessary changes to achieve their goals. The Millionaire Next Door is a compelling and insightful book that offers valuable lessons for readers looking to achieve financial independence and build wealth. By emphasizing the importance of frugality, discipline, and values-based living, the authors provide a roadmap for achieving financial success that is accessible to anyone willing to put in the effort. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to make a change in your financial habits, The Millionaire Next Door offers practical advice and inspiration that can help you achieve your goals. Number 11. I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi. I Will Teach You To Be Rich by Ramit Sethi is a personal finance book that offers a six-week program for mastering your finances and achieving financial success. First published in 2009 and updated in 2019, the book is aimed at young adults and professionals who want to take control of their finances and build wealth over time. One of the key themes of I Will Teach You To Be Rich is the importance of automation in managing your finances. Sethi emphasizes the use of automated systems for saving, investing, and paying bills, arguing that this can help you avoid common financial pitfalls and build wealth over time. 
By setting up automatic transfers and payments, you can ensure that you are consistently saving and investing without having to think about it. Another important concept in the book is the idea of conscious spending. Sethi encourages readers to focus on the things that bring them joy and to cut back on spending in areas that don't align with their values. By being intentional about your spending and prioritizing the things that matter most to you, Sethi argues that you can live a rich life without overspending. I Will Teach You To Be Rich also covers topics such as credit card rewards, investing in index funds, and negotiating your salary. Sethi provides practical tips and strategies for maximizing your financial resources and building wealth over time. He also emphasizes the importance of taking action and implementing the strategies outlined in the book, rather than just reading about them. I Will Teach You To Be Rich is a practical and accessible guide to mastering your finances and building wealth. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to improve your financial habits, Sethi's book offers valuable insights and actionable advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. One of the key aspects of, I will teach you to be rich, is Sethi's approach to investing. He emphasizes the importance of starting early and taking a long-term view of investing. Sethi advocates for investing in low-cost index funds, which he argues offer a good balance of risk and return for most investors. He also provides practical advice on how to set up automatic investment contributions and rebalance your portfolio over time. Another important concept in the book is the idea of big wins versus small wins when it comes to saving money. Sethi argues that focusing on big wins, such as negotiating your salary or finding ways to increase your income, can have a much larger impact on your financial situation than trying to save money on small purchases. By prioritizing your efforts and focusing on the areas where you can make the biggest impact, Sethi believes you can achieve financial success more quickly. Sethi also discusses the importance of psychology in managing your finances. He acknowledges that personal finance is as much about behavior and mindset as it is about numbers and strategies. Sethi provides practical tips for overcoming common psychological barriers to financial success, such as procrastination and fear of failure, and offers strategies for staying motivated and focused on your financial goals. I Will Teach You To Be Rich is a practical and engaging guide to mastering your finances and building wealth. Sethi's approach is accessible to readers of all levels of financial literacy, and his focus on automation, conscious spending, and psychology sets his book apart from other personal finance guides. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to improve your financial habits, Sethi's book offers valuable insights and actionable advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. Number 10. Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez. Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin and Joe Dominguez is a personal finance classic that offers a holistic approach to managing your finances and achieving financial independence. First published in 1992 and updated in 2018, the book has had a profound impact on readers seeking to take control of their financial lives and align their spending with their values. One of the key themes of your money or your life is the concept of enough. Robin and Dominguez argue that many people are trapped in a cycle of consumerism, constantly striving for more money in material possessions without considering whether these things truly bring them happiness. The authors advocate for a more mindful approach to spending, where individuals assess their values and prioritize spending on the things that truly matter to them. Another important concept in the book is the idea of financial independence. Robin and Dominguez define financial independence as having enough money to meet your basic needs without having to work for a living. They argue that achieving financial independence is not about amassing wealth for its own sake, but rather about gaining freedom and control over your life. To help readers achieve financial independence, Robin and Dominguez introduce the concept of the money life and the real life. The money life is the time and energy you spend earning and managing money, while the real life is everything else that matters to you, such as relationships, hobbies, and personal growth. The authors encourage readers to minimize their money life in order to maximize their real life, allowing them to focus on the things that truly bring them joy and fulfillment. 
One of the most powerful tools introduced in Your Money or Your Life is the Life Energy concept. The authors encourage readers to calculate their real hourly wage, taking into account all the time and energy spent earning and managing money. By understanding the true cost of their purchases in terms of life energy, readers can make more conscious decisions about how they spend their money. Your Money or Your Life is a thought-provoking and empowering book that offers a fresh perspective on money and life. Whether you're struggling with debt, seeking to achieve financial independence, or simply looking to align your spending with your values, Robin and Dominguez's book offers valuable insights and practical tools that can help you achieve your financial goals and live a more fulfilling life. One of the key strategies recommended in Your Money or Your Life is the 9-step program for transforming your relationship with money and achieving financial independence. This program is designed to help readers reassess their values, prioritize their spending, and develop a plan for achieving their financial goals. Another important concept in Your Money or Your Life is the idea of financial integrity. Robin and Dominguez argue that financial integrity is about aligning your financial actions with your values and priorities. This includes being honest with yourself about your spending habits, avoiding impulse purchases, and making conscious decisions about how you use your money. Your Money or Your Life is a transformative book that offers a new perspective on money and life. Whether you're struggling with debt, seeking to achieve financial independence, or simply looking to align your spending with your values, Robin and Dominguez's book offers valuable insights and practical strategies that can help you achieve your financial goals and live a more fulfilling life. Number 9. Money, Master the Game by Tony Robbins. Money, Master the Game by Tony Robbins is a comprehensive guide to mastering your finances and achieving financial freedom. Published in 2014, the book offers practical advice and strategies for building wealth, managing money, and achieving financial security. One of the key themes of Money, Master the Game is the importance of taking control of your financial future. Robbins argues that many people feel overwhelmed or intimidated by the complexities of the financial world, but by educating themselves and taking proactive steps, they can achieve financial success. Robbins also emphasizes the importance of mindset in achieving financial success. He argues that having a positive attitude and a strong sense of purpose are key drivers of financial success. By setting clear goals and taking consistent action towards them, individuals can overcome obstacles and achieve their financial dreams. Another important concept in the book is the idea of compound interest. Robbins explains how compound interest can work for or against you, depending on how you manage your money. He emphasizes the importance of starting to save and invest early in life, as even small amounts of money can grow significantly over time through the power of compound interest. Money, Master the Game also discusses the importance of asset allocation and diversification in building a successful investment portfolio. Robbins explains the principles of asset allocation and provides practical advice on how to construct a diversified portfolio that can weather market fluctuations and generate consistent returns. One of the most impactful aspects of Money, Master the Game is Robbins' interviews with some of the world's most successful investors, including Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio, and Jack Bogle. These interviews provide valuable insights into the strategies and mindset of these legendary investors, offering readers a glimpse into the habits and practices that have contributed to their success. Money, Master the Game is a comprehensive and practical guide to mastering your finances and achieving financial freedom. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to take your finances to the next level, Robin's book offers valuable insights and actionable advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. In Money, Master the Game, Tony Robbins also delves into the world of financial advisors and provides guidance on how to select the right advisor for your needs. He emphasizes the importance of working with a fiduciary advisor who is legally obligated to act in your best interests. Robbins provides a list of questions to ask potential advisors to ensure they are a good fit for your financial goals and values. Robbins also discusses the importance of giving back and the impact that philanthropy can have on both your finances and your overall sense of fulfillment. 
He argues that by giving back to others, you not only make a positive impact on the world but also create a sense of abundance in your own life. One of the central themes of Money, Master the Game is the idea of financial freedom. Robbins argues that true wealth is not just about money, but about having the freedom to live life on your own terms. He provides a roadmap for achieving financial freedom, which includes setting clear goals, creating a plan, and taking consistent action towards those goals. Money, Master the Game is a comprehensive and insightful guide to mastering your finances and achieving financial freedom. Robin's practical advice, combined with his motivational style, makes the book an engaging and informative read for anyone looking to take control of their financial future. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to take your finances to the next level, Robin's book offers valuable insights and actionable advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. Number 8. The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey is a personal finance book that offers a step-by-step -step plan for getting out of debt, building wealth, and achieving financial peace. First published in 2003 and updated in 2013, the book has become a bestseller and has helped millions of people take control of their finances. One of the key themes of The Total Money Makeover is the importance of living debt-free. Ramsey argues that debt is a major obstacle to financial success and that by eliminating debt, individuals can free up money to build wealth and achieve their financial goals. He introduces the debt snowball method where you pay off your debts from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rate, to gain momentum and motivation. Another important concept in the book is the idea of building an emergency fund. Ramsey recommends saving $1,000 as a starter emergency fund, and later, once debts are paid off, building a fully funded emergency fund of three to six months worth of expenses. This fund acts as a financial safety net protecting you from unexpected expenses or income disruptions. Ramsey also emphasizes the importance of budgeting and living below your means. He introduces the concept of a zero-based budget, where every dollar you earn is assigned a specific purpose, whether it's for bills, savings, or debt repayment. By budgeting carefully and prioritizing your spending, Ramsey argues that you can make significant progress towards your financial goals. The Total Money Makeover also covers topics such as investing for retirement, buying a home, and giving generously. Ramsey provides practical advice and strategies for building wealth over time, emphasizing the importance of consistency and discipline in managing your finances. The Total Money Makeover is a practical and motivational guide to achieving financial freedom. Ramsey's no-nonsense approach and actionable advice make the book accessible to readers of all levels of financial literacy. Whether you're struggling with debt, living paycheck to paycheck, or simply looking to improve your financial habits, Ramsey's book offers valuable insights and strategies that can help you achieve your financial goals. One of the core principles in The Total Money Makeover is Ramsey's emphasis on personal responsibility and accountability for one's financial situation. He believes that anyone can achieve financial success by following his principles, regardless of their income level or background. Ramsey often uses real-life examples of people who have successfully followed his plan to illustrate his points and inspire readers. Another key concept in the book is Ramsey's Baby Steps approach to financial freedom. He outlines seven baby steps that individuals can take to achieve financial security and build wealth. These steps include saving a $1,000 emergency fund, paying off all debt using the debt snowball method, and building a fully funded emergency fund of three to six months worth of expenses. The Total Money Makeover also emphasizes the importance of communication and teamwork in managing finances. Ramsey encourages couples to work together to set financial goals and make decisions about their money. He provides advice for navigating common financial challenges that couples face, such as differing attitudes towards money and disagreements about spending priorities. One of the strengths of The Total Money Makeover is Ramsey's motivational style. He uses a combination of tough love and encouragement to inspire readers to take action and make positive changes in their financial lives. 
Ramsey's straightforward approach and no-nonsense attitude resonate with many readers who are looking for practical advice and guidance. The Total Money Makeover is a practical and inspiring guide to achieving financial freedom. Ramsey's clear and actionable advice, combined with his motivational style, makes the book a valuable resource for anyone looking to take control of their finances and build wealth over time. Whether you're struggling with debt, living paycheck to paycheck, or simply looking to improve your financial habits, Ramsey's book offers practical strategies and advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. Number 7. The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Klassen. The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Klassen is a classic personal finance book that offers timeless wisdom on wealth building and financial management. Originally published in 1926, the book uses parables set in ancient Babylon to impart financial lessons that are as relevant today as they were nearly a century ago. One of the central themes of The Richest Man in Babylon is the importance of saving and investing. Klassen emphasizes the power of saving a portion of your income and investing it wisely to build wealth over time. He introduces the concept of paying yourself first, which means setting aside a portion of your income for savings before paying any other expenses. Another key concept in the book is the idea of living within your means. Klassen argues that it is important to avoid overspending and to prioritize your financial goals. He introduces the seven cures for a lean purse, which include saving at least 10% of your income, investing wisely, and avoiding unnecessary debt. The richest man in Babylon also emphasizes the importance of taking calculated risks in investing. Klassen argues that while there are no guarantees in investing, it is important to educate yourself about different investment opportunities and to take calculated risks to grow your wealth. He introduces the concept of the five laws of gold, which include preserving your capital, investing in opportunities that offer a fair return, and seeking advice from knowledgeable advisors. One of the strengths of The Richest Man in Babylon is its simplicity and accessibility. Klassen's use of parables makes complex financial concepts easy to understand and apply to real-life situations. The book's timeless lessons on saving, investing, and living within your means have made it a popular resource for readers seeking to improve their financial literacy and build wealth. The Richest Man in Babylon is a timeless classic that offers valuable lessons on wealth building and financial management. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to improve your financial habits, Klassen's book offers practical advice and wisdom that can help you achieve your financial goals. One of the enduring lessons from The Richest Man in Babylon is the importance of seeking wisdom from those who are knowledgeable in matters of finance. Klassen emphasizes the value of seeking advice from those who have achieved financial success and learning from their experiences. This idea of seeking mentorship and guidance from those who have achieved what you aspire to is a recurring theme throughout the book. Another key concept in The Richest Man in Babylon is the idea of taking personal responsibility for your financial situation. Klassen argues that financial success is not a matter of luck or circumstance, but rather the result of disciplined saving, wise investing, and careful planning. By taking control of your finances and making sound financial decisions, you can achieve wealth and financial independence. The Richest Man in Babylon also touches on the importance of perseverance and determination in achieving financial success. Klassen's parables often feature characters who face challenges and setbacks but ultimately succeed through hard work, perseverance, and a willingness to learn from their mistakes. This message of resilience and determination is a powerful reminder that achieving financial success requires patience and perseverance. The Richest Man in Babylon is a timeless classic that offers valuable lessons on wealth building and financial management. Klassen's simple yet profound advice has resonated with readers for generations, making it a must-read for anyone seeking to improve their financial literacy and achieve financial independence. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to refine your financial habits, The Richest Man in Babylon offers timeless wisdom that can help you achieve your financial goals. Number 6. Thinking, Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. Thinking, 
Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman is a groundbreaking exploration of the mind and how people think, offering insights into the two systems that drive the way we think, the fast, intuitive, and emotional, System 1, and the slow, deliberate, and logical, System 2. Kahneman, a Nobel Prize-winning psychologist, presents decades of research to explain how these two systems shape our judgments and decisions. One of the key themes of thinking, fast and slow, is the idea that human thinking is prone to biases and errors. Kahneman explains how System 1, which operates automatically and quickly, often leads to snap judgments and irrational decisions based on cognitive biases. He introduces concepts such as the availability heuristic, where people judge the likelihood of events based on how easily they can recall similar instances, and the anchoring effect, where people rely too heavily on the first piece of information they receive. Another important concept in the book is the idea of prospect theory, which Kahneman developed with Amos Tversky. Prospect theory suggests that people do not make decisions based on absolute values, but rather on perceived gains and losses relative to a reference point. This theory has profound implications for understanding how people make financial decisions and evaluate risks. Kahneman also explores the concept of overconfidence, arguing that people tend to be overly confident in their judgments and abilities. He explains how overconfidence can lead to poor decision-making, as people often underestimate risks and overestimate their own capabilities. One of the most compelling aspects of thinking, fast and slow, is Kahneman's exploration of the role of intuition in decision-making. He argues that while intuition can be a powerful tool, it is prone to biases and errors. Kahneman suggests that by understanding the limitations of intuition and engaging system 2 to override automatic judgments, people can make more rational and informed decisions. Thinking, fast and slow, is a fascinating exploration of the mind and how people think. Kahneman's insights into human cognition have profound implications for understanding decision-making, behavior, and the nature of intelligence. Whether you're interested in psychology, economics, or simply understanding your own thinking processes, thinking, fast and slow, offers valuable insights that can change the way you view the world. Kahneman also delves into the concept of framing, which refers to the way information is presented and how it can influence decision-making. He explains how the same information presented in different ways can lead to different judgments and decisions. For example, Framing a choice as a potential loss is more likely to elicit a risk-averse response, while framing it as a potential gain is more likely to elicit a risk-taking response. Another key concept in thinking, fast and slow, is the idea of experienced utility versus remembered utility. Kahneman explains that people often conflate the two, believing that the way they remember past experiences is a good indicator of how they actually experience them. However, he argues that this is not always the case, as people's memories are often biased and unreliable. This insight has implications for how people make decisions about future experiences and how they evaluate their overall well-being. Kahneman also discusses the concept of decision fatigue, which refers to the idea that people's ability to make rational decisions decreases after a long period of decision-making. He explains how factors such as fatigue, stress, and cognitive overload can impair decision-making abilities, leading to poor choices. One of the most important takeaways from thinking, fast and slow, is the idea that people can learn to recognize and mitigate their cognitive biases. Kahneman suggests that by engaging system 2 to slow down and think more deliberately, people can make better decisions and avoid common pitfalls. He also emphasizes the importance of feedback and learning from experience to improve decision-making over time. Thinking, Fast and Slow, is a thought-provoking and insightful book that offers valuable lessons for understanding how people think and make decisions. Kahneman's research has had a profound impact on fields such as psychology, economics, and decision theory, and his work continues to influence our understanding of human behavior. Whether you're interested in psychology, economics, or simply want to improve your own decision-making skills, thinking, fast and slow, is a must-read that will change the way you think about thinking. Number 5. The Boglehead's Guide to Investing, by Taylor Larimore, Mel Lindauer, and Michael LaBeouf. 
The Boglehead's Guide to Investing, by Taylor Larimore, Mel Lindauer, and Michael LaBeouf is a comprehensive guide to investing based on the principles of John C. Bogle, the founder of Vanguard Group and pioneer of index investing. The book offers practical advice and strategies for building wealth and achieving financial security through a simple and low-cost approach to investing. One of the key themes of The Boglehead's Guide to Investing is the importance of keeping investing simple and focusing on the long term. The authors advocate for a lazy portfolio approach, which involves investing in a diversified portfolio of low-cost index funds and holding them for the long term. This strategy is based on Bogle's philosophy that most investors are better off investing in a broad market index fund rather than trying to beat the market through stock picking or market timing. Another important concept in the book is the idea of minimizing investment costs. The authors argue that high fees and expenses can eat into investment returns over time, so it's important to choose low-cost investment options. They recommend investing in index funds, which have lower fees compared to actively managed funds, and avoiding unnecessary trading and turnover in your portfolio. The Boglehead's Guide to Investing also covers topics such as asset allocation, diversification, and rebalancing. The authors provide practical advice on how to build a diversified portfolio that aligns with your risk tolerance and investment goals, and they offer strategies for periodically rebalancing your portfolio to maintain your desired asset allocation. One of the strengths of The Boglehead's Guide to Investing is its accessibility. The authors explain complex investment concepts in a clear and straightforward manner, making them easy to understand for readers of all levels of investment experience. The book is also filled with practical tips and advice based on real-life experiences, making it a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their investment knowledge and skills. The Boglehead's Guide to Investing is a valuable resource for anyone looking to build wealth and achieve financial security through investing. Whether you're a novice investor looking to get started or an experienced investor looking to refine your investment strategy, this book offers valuable insights and practical advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. The Boglehead's Guide to Investing by Taylor Larimore, Mel Lindauer, and Michael LaBeouf continues to be a popular and highly regarded resource for investors seeking a straightforward and effective approach to managing their money. The book's core principles are rooted in the philosophy of John C. Bogle, the founder of Vanguard Group and a strong advocate for low-cost, long-term investing strategies. One of the key themes in the book is the importance of understanding and controlling investment costs. The authors emphasize that high fees and expenses can significantly erode investment returns over time, and they recommend investing in low-cost index funds as a way to minimize these costs. By focusing on low-cost, diversified investments, investors can improve their chances of achieving their financial goals. Another important concept in The Boglehead's Guide to Investing is the idea of asset allocation. The authors explain the importance of diversifying your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and cash, to reduce risk and maximize returns. They provide guidance on how to determine the right asset allocation for your financial goals and risk tolerance, and they offer strategies for rebalancing your portfolio as needed to maintain your desired asset allocation. The book also covers practical topics such as retirement planning, tax-efficient investing, and managing investment risk. The authors provide actionable advice and real-world examples to help readers navigate these complex issues and make informed decisions about their investments. One of the strengths of The Boglehead's Guide to Investing is its focus on simplicity and clarity. The authors break down complex investment concepts into easy-to-understand language, making them accessible to readers of all levels of investment experience. The book's practical, no-nonsense approach has resonated with readers seeking a reliable and time-tested investment strategy. The Boglehead's Guide to Investing is a valuable resource for investors looking to build wealth and achieve financial security. By following the book's principles of low-cost, diversified investing, readers can improve their investment outcomes and work towards achieving their long-term financial goals. Number 4. Security Analysis by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd. 
Security Analysis, by Benjamin Graham and David Dodd is considered one of the most influential books on value investing ever written. First published in 1934, the book provides a comprehensive framework for analyzing securities and making informed investment decisions based on fundamental analysis. One of the key themes of security analysis is the importance of intrinsic value in determining the attractiveness of an investment. Graham and Dodd argue that the value of a security is based on its underlying business fundamentals, such as earnings, assets, and cash flow, rather than on market price or speculation. They introduce the concept of the margin of safety, which refers to the difference between the intrinsic value of a security and its market price, and they emphasize the importance of buying securities when they are trading below their intrinsic value. Another important concept in the book is the idea of market efficiency. Graham and Dodd argue that markets are not always efficient and that there are opportunities for investors to find undervalued securities through careful analysis. They advocate for a disciplined and systematic approach to investing, based on thorough research and analysis of individual securities. Security analysis also covers topics such as financial statement analysis, the role of dividends in investment decisions, and the use of quantitative methods in security analysis. The authors provide detailed explanations and examples to help readers understand these complex topics and apply them to their own investment decisions. One of the enduring legacies of security analysis is its influence on the field of value investing. Graham and Dodd's principles have been adopted by generations of investors, including Warren Buffett, who credits the book as a major influence on his own investment philosophy. The book's emphasis on fundamental analysis, margin of safety, and long-term investing has stood the test of time and remains relevant to investors today. Security analysis is a timeless classic that offers valuable insights into the principles of value investing. Whether you're a seasoned investor looking to refine your investment approach or a novice investor seeking to learn the fundamentals, Graham and Dodd's book provides a solid foundation for understanding the principles of value investing and making informed investment decisions. One of the key takeaways from security analysis is the importance of a disciplined and patient approach to investing. Graham and Dodd emphasize the need for investors to conduct thorough research and analysis before making investment decisions, and to have the patience to wait for the right opportunities to come along. They caution against speculating or investing based on market trends, advocating instead for a long-term focus on intrinsic value. Another important concept in the book is the idea of risk management. Graham and Dodd argue that investors should seek to minimize risk by focusing on the fundamental value of a security and by diversifying their investments. They caution against relying too heavily on speculation or leverage, which can increase the risk of investment losses. Security analysis also emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and improvement in the field of investing. Graham and Dodd encourage investors to constantly refine their analytical skills and to adapt their investment strategies based on new information and changing market conditions. They stress the importance of humility and open-mindedness in the face of uncertainty, recognizing that no investment strategy is foolproof. One of the enduring legacies of security analysis is its role in shaping the field of finance and investment theory. Graham and Dodd's principles laid the foundation for modern value investing, which remains a widely followed investment strategy today. The book's emphasis on fundamental analysis, margin of safety, and long-term investing has influenced generations of investors and continues to be a guiding light for those seeking to build wealth through prudent investing. Security analysis is a timeless classic that offers valuable insights into the principles of value investing. Graham and Dodd's rigorous analytical approach and focus on intrinsic value have stood the test of time and remain relevant to investors today. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just starting out, security analysis provides a solid foundation for understanding the principles of value investing and building a successful investment strategy. Number 3. The Four Pillars of Investing by William J. Bernstein The Four Pillars of Investing by William J. Bernstein is a comprehensive guide to investing that explores the key principles and strategies for building a successful investment portfolio. First published in 2002 and updated in 2010, 
the book offers valuable insights into the fundamentals of investing and provides practical advice for investors of all levels. One of the central themes of The Four Pillars of Investing is the importance of understanding the history of financial markets and the principles of investing. Bernstein argues that by understanding the historical context of financial markets and the factors that drive investment returns, investors can make more informed decisions and avoid common pitfalls. Another key concept in the book is the idea of asset allocation. Bernstein emphasizes the importance of diversifying investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and cash, to reduce risk and maximize returns. He introduces the concept of risk tolerance and explains how investors can determine the right asset allocation for their financial goals and risk tolerance. The Four Pillars of Investing also covers topics such as market efficiency, behavioral finance, and the role of fees and expenses in investment returns. Bernstein provides practical advice on how to build a diversified portfolio that aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance, and he offers strategies for managing risk and volatility in your portfolio. One of the strengths of The Four Pillars of Investing is Bernstein's ability to explain complex investment concepts in a clear and accessible manner. The book is written for a general audience and avoids jargon, making it easy for readers of all levels of investment experience to understand. The Four Pillars of Investing is a valuable resource for anyone looking to build wealth and achieve financial security through investing. Bernstein's insights into the principles of investing, combined with his practical advice and clear writing style, make the book a must-read for investors seeking to improve their investment knowledge and skills. Another important concept in The Four Pillars of Investing is the idea of market timing. Bernstein argues that trying to time the market by buying and selling based on short-term market movements is unlikely to be successful in the long run. Instead, he advocates for a long-term approach to investing, focusing on the fundamentals of the companies and assets you're investing in rather than trying to predict short-term market movements. Bernstein also discusses the role of psychology in investing, particularly the impact of emotions on investment decisions. He explains how emotions such as fear and greed can lead investors to make irrational decisions, and he offers strategies for managing these emotions and making more rational investment choices. One of the key takeaways from The Four Pillars of Investing is the importance of taking a disciplined and systematic approach to investing. Bernstein emphasizes the need for investors to develop a clear investment plan based on their financial goals and risk tolerance, and to stick to this plan even in the face of market volatility or economic uncertainty. The Four Pillars of Investing is a valuable resource for investors seeking to build a successful investment portfolio. Bernstein's insights into the principles of investing, combined with his practical advice and clear writing style, make the book a must-read for anyone looking to improve their investment knowledge and skills. Whether you're a novice investor or an experienced professional, The Four Pillars of Investing offers valuable insights and strategies that can help you achieve your financial goals. Number 2. Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Nicholas Taleb Fooled by Randomness by Nassim Nicholas Taleb is a provocative exploration of the role of luck, randomness, and uncertainty in our lives, particularly in the world of finance and investing. First published in 2001 and revised in 2005, the book challenges traditional ideas about success and failure, arguing that much of what we attribute to skill or merit may actually be the result of luck. One of the central themes of Fooled by Randomness is the concept of black swan events, rare and unpredictable events that have a profound impact on the world. Talib argues that these events are often ignored or underestimated by traditional risk models, leading to catastrophic outcomes for those who are unprepared. He emphasizes the importance of being aware of the limitations of our knowledge and understanding that the future is inherently uncertain. Another key concept in the book is the idea of survivorship bias, the tendency to focus on the successes rather than the failures. Talib argues that this bias can lead us to overestimate the role of skill and underestimate the role of luck in determining outcomes. He cautions against attributing success solely to skill, as this can lead to overconfidence and reckless behavior. Fooled by Randomness also explores the concept of narrative fallacy, 
the human tendency to create stories or explanations to make sense of random events. Talib argues that this tendency can lead us to see patterns and connections where none exist, leading to faulty conclusions and poor decision-making. One of the strengths of Fooled by Randomness is Talib's engaging writing style and his use of anecdotes and examples to illustrate his points. The book is thought-provoking and challenges readers to reconsider their assumptions about success, failure, and the role of randomness in our lives. Fooled by Randomness is a thought-provoking exploration of the role of luck and randomness in our lives. Talib's insights into the limitations of our knowledge and the importance of humility in the face of uncertainty make the book a valuable read for anyone interested in understanding the complexities of the world around us. Fooled by Randomness also delves into the concept of silent evidence, which refers to the unseen or unobserved data that can skew our perceptions. Talib argues that we often focus on the visible and tangible evidence while ignoring the unseen factors that may have played a role in the outcome. This can lead us to draw incorrect conclusions about cause and effect, especially in complex systems where multiple factors are at play. One of the key takeaways from Fooled by Randomness is the importance of being aware of our cognitive biases and limitations. Talib argues that our brains are wired to seek patterns and explanations, even when none exist, and that this can lead us to make faulty decisions. By recognizing these biases and approaching the world with a healthy dose of skepticism, we can avoid being fooled by randomness and make more informed decisions. Another important concept in the book is the idea of anti-fragility, the idea that some systems actually benefit from volatility and uncertainty. Talib argues that by embracing uncertainty and building systems that can adapt and thrive in chaotic environments, we can become more resilient to unforeseen events and black swan events. Fooled by Randomness is a thought-provoking and challenging book that forces readers to reconsider their assumptions about luck, success, and the nature of the world. Talib's insights into the role of randomness in our lives are profound and have important implications for how we approach decision-making and risk management. Whether you're a professional investor, a business leader, or simply curious about the workings of the world, Fooled by Randomness offers valuable insights that can change the way you view the world. Number 1. The Wealthy Barber by David Chilton the Wealthy Barber by David Chilton is a personal finance book that offers simple yet effective advice on how to build wealth and achieve financial security. First published in 1989 and revised in 2011, the book presents financial lessons in the form of a story, making it engaging and easy to understand for readers of all levels of financial literacy. One of the key themes of The Wealthy Barber is the importance of saving and investing regularly. Chilton emphasizes the power of compound interest and demonstrates how even small, consistent contributions to savings and investments can grow significantly over time. He introduces the concept of paying yourself first, which involves setting aside a portion of your income for savings before paying any other expenses. Another important concept in the book is the idea of living below your means. Chilton argues that many people fall into the trap of spending more than they earn, leading to financial stress and insecurity. He advocates for a lifestyle of frugality and moderation, where spending is kept in check and savings are prioritized. The Wealthy Barber also covers topics such as debt management, insurance, and retirement planning. Chilton provides practical advice on how to manage debt responsibly, protect yourself and your assets with insurance, and plan for a comfortable retirement. He emphasizes the importance of setting clear financial goals and developing a plan to achieve them. One of the strengths of The Wealthy Barber is its accessibility. Chilton presents financial concepts in a clear and straightforward manner, making them easy to understand and apply to real-life situations. The book's storytelling format, featuring a fictional barber who dispenses financial wisdom to his customers, makes the advice engaging and relatable. The Wealthy Barber is a timeless classic that offers valuable lessons on personal finance. Chilton's simple yet effective advice, combined with his engaging writing style, has made the book a popular resource for anyone looking to improve their financial literacy and build wealth over time. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to refine your financial habits, 
The Wealthy Barber offers practical advice that can help you achieve your financial goals. One of the key takeaways from The Wealthy Barber is the importance of setting clear financial goals. Chilton emphasizes the need to identify what you want to achieve financially and develop a plan to reach those goals. Whether your goal is to buy a home, pay for your children's education, or retire comfortably, Chilton stresses the importance of having a roadmap for how you will achieve it. Another important concept in the book is the idea of investing wisely. Chilton advocates for a balanced approach to investing, recommending a mix of stocks, bonds, and other assets to reduce risk and maximize returns. He also emphasizes the importance of diversification, noting that spreading your investments across different asset classes can help protect your portfolio from market volatility. The Wealthy Barber also highlights the importance of financial education. Chilton argues that many people lack basic financial literacy skills, which can lead to poor financial decisions and missed opportunities. He encourages readers to educate themselves about personal finance and investing, whether through books, courses, or professional advice. One of the most valuable aspects of The Wealthy Barber is its focus on practical, actionable advice. Chilton provides specific tips and strategies for saving money, reducing debt, and building wealth that readers can implement immediately. By breaking down complex financial concepts into simple, easy-to-understand language, Chilton empowers readers to take control of their finances and make informed decisions about their money. The Wealthy Barber is a timeless classic that offers valuable lessons on personal finance and investing. Chilton's down-to-earth approach and practical advice make the book accessible to readers of all backgrounds and levels of financial knowledge. Whether you're just starting out on your financial journey or are looking to improve your financial habits, The Wealthy Barber offers valuable insights that can help you achieve financial security and build wealth over time.